2017. Definitely one for the books. myself that I would find balance. Balance was my word for 2017. Um, you know, up until then, I, you know, many of you may not know this, but I was a very stressed out person, a very anxious person, an emotional person. I wear my heart on my sleeve. The positive things that happen in teaching and the negative things that happen in teaching, uh, I would take those home and I, I take them to heart and it consumed me. Ever since I was younger, I've always been a very happy person, but I am definitely a perfectionist and I always want everything to be perfect and I want everything to be planned and you know, up until then I just thought that that was the way that I was. And then I realized that, you know, it was affecting me and it was affecting the health of me and my body and, you know, coming home to Greg after a stressful day and I just kind of like, you know, unload on him and, you know, he's like, you know, you're, you can't do this to yourself. It's so important as teachers to live a healthy lifestyle and that healthy lifestyle, I'm not talking about diet and, you know, weight loss, talking about the whole scheme of things and, you know, being healthier mentally and physically as a teacher. It's so important because our jobs are so demanding and just so stressful and, you know, it was taking a lot out of me in, you know, the years up to my first year of teaching up until 2016. 2017, I, I had almost, you know, reached the tip of the iceberg on I felt like I was in over my head and, you know, I started TPT back in, you know, I don't know, 2015 and, you know, I was like, I can't do that anymore and there's just so many things that I couldn't even feel like I could do, like reading. I love to read and I felt like I couldn't even do that anymore and I, I got really frustrated with myself because I knew that... I could do better and I can reach for the stars. I know that I have dreams and that I wanted to be bigger. So, uh, 
getting to the baby steps, knowing that I can't just jump right into that. I knew that I needed to create this healthy lifestyle and live a balanced lifestyle, which as you guys see is the whole, you know, idea, the whole, you know, mantra of my channel is living a balanced life as a teacher, as a, you know, fiance and future wife, you know, a future mother, a best friend, a sister, a daughter. I want to be this balanced person in this ever demanding job of mine that I love dearly. You know, it's I hold it so dear to my heart. I, I can't imagine me doing anything else in life. But there are other things in life that I also, you know, am passionate about, like reading and crafts and making shirts. And I would love to write a book one day. I can't do any of those things if I don't live a balanced life. So 2017, I decided, you know, that was my New Year's resolution was to make it happen. Um, not to lose weight or to drink more water, but to resolve the reasons why I am not living a balanced life right now. And everything I did, every waking moment, I had balance, you know, in the back of my mind. You know, what can I do to be balanced today? What can I, what can I prep tonight to help me have a better morning? What friends can I hang around that would lift me up and help me chase my dreams and love me for who I am and the kooky person that I am? Things like that led to my routines and going to the gym more often and realizing that I'm going to the gym, I'm reading books and making time for myself, I'm doing crafts and you know all of these things, I started freeing up all of these things in my life where, you know, I, I, I don't know, it's just, it's amazing that I had all of this free time in 2017 to do things that I loved. And I wonder back then, what on earth was I doing? I was sitting around worrying and being stressed out and spinning and wasting my energy on things that I shouldn't have. And 2017, I feel like I, I found myself. I found who I was. I, I found... Ashley Lacer and I really do believe in the law of attraction and thinking positive thoughts will create like this tumble effect the snowball effect of positive things in your life and look at all the amazing things that happened TPT grew I you know got engaged to my best friend of seven years one of the best teaching years of my life I you know realized the friends that are going to be there for me and love me for who that I am, you know, for who that I am. And I created Coffee and Firsties and created this YouTube channel. And, you know, back then I'm thinking, how did, how can I be that person that does everything but still has time for themselves? I am just, I'm proud. I'm so proud of 2017. And I'm proud of who I've become and I'm proud of who I can now look forward to in the future of Coffee and Firsties and Ashley Lacer and all the things that I could do knowing that, you know, what I've accomplished, I can dream big and I, I can write a book. I can, you know, write a blog. I can balance a YouTube channel while also balancing all these other things in life without being stressed out. Um, because I know how to balance those things now. Thinking of 2018 and what I want out of 2018, prepping for 2018 is has been a more open year for me. You know, I feel like I've accomplished so much in 2017 that, you know, I feel like there's so many roads that I can take in 2018. And that's why it's taken me a few weeks to get this video up. I know a lot of people post their resolution videos and goal videos up to New Year's or after New Year's. But for me, I've really had time to think about what it is that I want to accomplish in 2018. And, you know, what do I want? Coffee and Versies, you know, who do I want to be? What new things can I do with this brand new lifestyle of mine of living this amazing balanced life. So I have New Year's resolutions and then I also have my New Year's goals. Goals and resolutions are two different things for me and I feel like it's really important when you're thinking about your goals and your resolutions to see them as two separate things. 
Goals to me are things that I just want to be better at. Things that I want to try and think about, you know, every single week or month and just, just try and get better at them. And at the end of 2018, I want to look at myself and say, you know, did I lose 10 pounds? Um, did I, you know, attempt to drink more water? Did I read, you know, 25 books a year? Resolutions are more permanent for me. Those are those things that I want to always think about. You know, I wake up and I think about how can, what can I do today to get me to that resolution? That resolution is going to make me a better person and that is what I'm gonna think about every waking moment in 2018. Be an inspiring teacher and role model to my students, to be the most amazing wife that I could possibly be, to be, you know, the best fur baby mama there is, to keep my house clean, to do, to do all of these things. I feel like you have to start with your resolution and one thing, you, you can't put too many resolutions on yourself you know, in a year. Me, I can't put too many resolutions on myself because that's a lot of pressure. So last year, all I wanted to do is achieve balance in life. 2018, I am going to, my big word is going to be dream. And not just dream, but, you know, chase your dreams. Now know that I can do more than what I've led on and more than what I thought that I could do in my life. I've never been a super confident person and 2017 I started this little fire inside me of somebody I didn't know that was there before. So I really want to explore that in 2018 and see what I come up with, you know? The places that I'm going to travel, the, you know, relationships that I'm going to grow in 2018, the teacher that I'm going to become in 2018, the house that I want in 2018. It can be anything. You know, and the biggest part is coffee and firsties. What can I do with coffee and firsties in 2018? What can I make it become? What can I do to better myself as a person? And I feel like if I am dreaming big, I can accomplish anything. I can chase my dreams because um, I believe in myself this year. And I, I, don't necess I haven't necessarily said that in a really, really long time. So that is going to be my 2017-2018 recap and resolution goals video. I also have a resolution mindset or mantra for 2018 listed down below so we can um, keep each other accountable and lift each other up on this journey of ours. And so in at the end of 2018, we can all say we did it. We held each other up. We lifted each other up. We were there for each other and um, I knew I knew that we could do it. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed hearing about my goals and resolutions. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.